Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 267. Now I solved this probably over a year ago, but uh, my good friend Rusty is having trouble with it, and I've learned some things since then, so I'm going to go ahead and play again. This is a timed level and a hard level. We can look from the map screen on the old platform, which I still have, or we can even jump in and hit pause. Well, it's actually quit, but let's go ahead and do that. Now, the most important thing that I learned about timed levels like this, where we have to get, here I'm going to hit quit, where we have to get points, is that I know these ticking time bombs are dangerous and deadly and a big pain. However, they can also be points getters for us. So if you're really struggling with this, I would consider bringing in a color bomb and holding on to it and opening these up and then matching the color bomb with a color of the most prevalent ticking time bomb on the board. Let me explain that further. Let's say I've got a color bomb right, well, let's say it's right here, okay? So this isn't blue, this is a color bomb. And then let's say I've got a purple ticking time bomb here, a green one here, and a green one here. So I can match this with purple, I'm sorry, green, purple, red, or yellow. I'm going to go green because I have two ticking time bombs that are green and that's going to give me a huge points boost. Might even give me enough to get the 100,000 points that I need for one star. And then if that's the case, I can just stop playing and let the clock run out before I let any of these ticking time bombs explode and get me. The other thing we need to be careful of is since we've got some plus fives here and since we want to make color bombs so we need space, we want to take out as much frosting as possible, but we want to try to leave these guys intact. We probably won't be able to do it for long, but the longer we can, then the, um, the less we'll have to worry about the sticking time bombs. So we're going to jump in now and see what we can do. Um, we've also got these chocolate spawners, licorice cages, all that other, other stuff that's kind of common to these tough boards. Uh, so here I go. I'm going to try to make moves away from the top here. Uh, from the very top. Although I do want to break through this. And I would like to get through the chocolate because um, I, I don't like to chase the chocolate, but I need the space and this just takes away my opportunities. So notice I had the opportunity to take these guys out and I didn't because I don't want the sticking time bombs. Now I do because now I've got a color bomb created here and I want as many ticking time bombs on the board as possible and I want to be able to match these up. Um, now let's see. Uh, I've got two red and two yellow one blue and one orange. I don't know what I can reach. I could reach orange. I'm going to kind of blow things up and try to get more down here. Okay, I can reach purple and green. I'm going to go green here. Look at this. That's my points. That's all you need to do. And now I can just stop if I want and let the clock run out. So Rusty, I hope that this helps. Um, I created this specially for you. I mean, let everybody else see it too, because like I said, I learned so much playing this board. And really the way I learned in Candy Crush wasn't as much by playing it as by teaching it, by trying to tell people how to beat things. And the more I examined it, the more I thought about it, the more patterns I saw. So I highly recommend that for all of your levels. If you're, I'm just gonna let it run out. If you're um, really struggling with something, Look at what you need to do and the best course of action to get there. The best course of action to get points is to match a color bomb with the color of a prevalent ticking time bomb. That's how you get your points. If you'd like to see more videos, you can subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.